what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl lily and this is an extremely highly requested video like no cap zero cap no capping at all y'all have been asking me relentlessly what am i using to film my videos i get the dms i get the comments i get all of it on the youtube videos my instagram posts my everywhere everywhere you're always asking me and i'm also always sharing it but i know that there are always new people um coming to my you know channel or my instagram page so they're new they may not have seen what i've already posted previously so i'm making this for the record oh my god i'm finally making it Woo! um <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I have my list here for the most part of items that I use, and it's less than 10. Um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, literally 10, and I do not use all these products every time I film. But the number one question I know that you guys are asking are, how am I getting my overhead shot? So this is the tripod that I use, you guys. This is it, I'm pretty sure you can see it all the way in the film, or well, in the camera lens this is what i'm using um this tripod is 90 dollars, and it is in my amazon store every single thing that i am going to share with y'all is going to be listed down in the description in order so you can get easy links and easy access because i know how lazy y'all are so 90 dollars. so the whole thing about this tripod is stands up like a traditional tripod no doubt of course we all know how tripods work whether it's a smaller one, whether it's the one that's easy to travel with, this is the major difference with this, this tripod. So it has this arm that you're able to remove and fix it so you can have an overhead shot. That's the whole thing. So um, this is what I'm using. And even though you can use this with a DSLR, which is a bigger camera, um the weight of the camera and the lens is too heavy to have this leg extended so far out without anything being on this side um so therefore if i was to use my big camera it would tilt it will potentially fall on my client um and i don't want that to happen so what do i do i use a phone to film you guys literally a phone I have my main phone right here and I have my filming phone, which I'm actually filming on right now, which is a smaller phone. I think it's a 10, I know, I think it's something, it's a 13, you know, it's a 13 because it has the three cameras. It's a 13, but it's not a pro. It's like just a regular little small 13, I don't know, 13, but it's a small one. It's not like the Pro Max like this one. So that goes into the next product that i use this little thing right here let me show y'all so the tripod comes with this it comes with everything and it also comes with this little attachment that's up here right now which comes with the tripod now what does not come with the tripod is this phone holder that is going to be my third product that is going to be linked down in the description this phone holder is approximately eight dollars once again from Amazon. So you can adjust it to however wide your phone is or whatever the device that you're gonna be using to film, which is probably gonna be a phone. I put it in here like so, and I always use my back camera because the back camera has the best quality. So I put it in here, make sure it fits. I reposition the arm, the claw, or whatever it's using to film or you know to tighten and i maneuver this back on paint is chipping off of it and then it allows you to put your phone at whatever direction you need to have it at so if you need a vertical shot for instagram reel or for tiktok perfect if you need a horizontal shot which is landscape for youtube perfect you can do that as well and then you just tighten it i think i'm losing it my legs on my tripod are not extended all the way up. If it was, it would be like this high and it will be over my client. I'm gonna go ahead and extend it just so y'all can get the full spectrum of how I do what I do when I'm filming because I know y'all like, uh, we wanna see every single nook and cranny about this tripod, okay? That's twenty. That's that's ninety dollars because it ain't twenty. I don't know why I was gonna say twenty. 
And once you get used to using a tripod, especially one of this magnitude, because this is an advanced tripod. This ain't your average tripod that you're about to go find in Walmart or Best Buy. They might have one in Best Buy, depending on your location. But you just want to make sure that it's able to go horizontally, because most of them don't. So this is how it looks. And then let me extend my leg back out, my arm. And like I said, typically I'm using a lighter phone. So even this phone is heavy, especially with the case on it. And I'll use this to correct however I use or need my camera to be. If I need it to go that way, if I need it to go this way or whatever way. And if you need it to go vertical, you will just maneuver this to actually switch your phone. You guys, this is how I film. My client will be right here, of course, and I will work like this. That's why typically y'all may see my feet or you may see my cart because of course the phone does grab a larger um, perimeter of what it's filming. To go into the next product, um, my floor light. This is the touch light that I use. Tap, tap, tap. It has four levels. You tap it five times and it will turn off. So I tap, tap, tap four times. I can maneuver this however I want. And it has two lights. So if I need a wide angle of light, then I go like that. I never use it like this. It's typically just like this. And that'll cover the bottom portion of the face and then the upper portion of the face while um, remaining out of the frame of my light. So it works perfect. If you have a ring light, that'll work perfect as well because you know it's a circle, so it's gonna cover everything. And this floor light is $71 off of Amazon. Um, so I also sometimes every now and again, I've done it in like two or three facial videos. I filmed like a different perspective or different view. And the way I did that was with my um, actual DSLR camera. That's a Canon 80D. And I've used two different lens. I've used the Canon 50 millimeter and the Canon EF 24 to 105 millimeter. Now, the Canon 80D is an older camera. I purchased that in 2017 when that was the latest Canon that was available. Um, and I bought it for $869. Now, this is also before I started doing videos on facial content and all of that. I was doing like a whole bunch of other content. So and that was like my primary way of filming for YouTube. You do not have to buy a DSLR camera. My main thing is always being affordable and, you know, using what you have. So if you have a phone, please utilize your phone and make it work for you. You do not have to go buy another phone unless you really need to, or um, you just have no other way of filming. Or if you need a better quality camera, just go use a phone. The lens, the first lens, the 50 millimeter, which is the close shot, that's 125 and then the larger camera lens which is the 24 to 105 millimeter that lens is 614 dollars if you buy a regular regular tripod which is what my canon sits on because i don't need it to extend or do anything extra you can typically find a camera like a, a tripod like that for like around 20 to 40 dollars if you want like a sturdy one that you're not going to have to replace within a couple months Spend more money so it can last longer and that's typically what I did that's this tripod that stays at home and that is uh, $40 I'll list that down below as well um, now the things that how I edit I edit off of my MacBook Pro which is sitting over there of course that's gonna be a pretty penny especially if you buy it straight out it's gonna be around $1,600 to $2,000 um, you can finance it, you can go to a pawn shop, you can go to some type of electronics store and typically get one that is refurbished for, of course, like a cheaper amount. Um, and then how I edit the software is Final Cut Pro X, which is 10. And there's a lot of different things going around with that as far as like the, the software being free for more than 30 days. Back when I was had to use it, first using it, 
It was only free for your first 30 days. I've heard that it's been extended to 60. I don't know if that's true or not, but once your extended time is up with the, using it free, you do have to pay for it. And last time I checked, the software was $300 and then you'll have it forever. So that's how I do what I do, everybody. I hope y'all are finally pleased with watching this video. I'm actually pretty happy that I was able to bring y'all this video because I've been seeing the comments and I'm like, oh my God, I'll tell y'all what I use. Just check my Amazon story out. Every and anything that is in the spa, that is at my house, that is in my car, that is all of my life. If it's something that I'm wearing, using, or anything, it's on Amazon. Because nine times out of 10, I purchased it on Amazon. Just skim through my Amazon store. It's so neatly organized. Like if you're looking for more YouTube essentials or filming essentials of how I do what I do in the spa, I've listed everything, but go check out my YouTube um, little category. It has everything up there from GoPro stuff, if I'm filming an underwater vlog or somewhere, something like that, good little travel, it's up there. So I hope y'all are happy. I am too. I can't wait for this video to drop and y'all can, you know, check this video out to see what I've been using so it could be helpful to all of you as well. I'll see y'all in my next video. I got some content coming, so I hope y'all stay tuned and go check out my monthly favorites for November and go check out all the videos that I just recently posted. I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye y'all.